Good morning, guys. We're making a volcano today. So the things we're gonna need is the volcano base. Okay, so you're gonna need that. If you don't wanna pick up this kit, just simply cut out a circle, hole in the middle of it, okay? So you're gonna need that. You're gonna need the volcano structure. There it is here, guys. Okay. It's like a half moon. You're going to need plaster wrap. I'm gonna open these up just to show you guys. Let's see. So here it is here, guys. Oh, what a mess. You're gonna need plaster wrap. There it is. Oh my goodness, it's all over the floor. You're going to need an eruption tube. There you go. Pretty much just a test tube. You will need adhesive foam squares for these, okay? And double stick tape squares. You're gonna need those as well. Paintbrush to paint your new volcano. Glow in the dark paint, which is what we're going for. We want it to glow in the nighttime and erupt it in the night. And just some acrylic paint. So first you're going to take, well here guys, all the material you need to start your volcano project. This structure here, which is the volcano structure, and the adhesive stickers, which is here in my hand. Hopefully it's not too blurry guys, where it has to focus. Anyway, what you're going to do is take three of these adhesive stickers and stick them onto the structure. So I'm just going to tear these apart. You have to place a piece at the top, the middle, and the bottom of the edge. So, we're going to place one right here, the top. bottom edge. Now what you're going to do guys is tear out the other side because these are double sided, right? So you're going to tear them off. There we go. You're going to take this side and stick it to it now and make sure it's firmly stuck. Okay. So guys, take the base, as you can see in my hand, and what you're going to do is you're going to take that tube, the test tube or volcano tube, and you're going to stick it down through the center where that hole is too. And there you go. What I did next was I took that sheet of double stick tape squares and I cut them into little tiny squares, guys. Because what you're going to do now is you're going to take your volcano. See these tabs here, guys? You're going to stick that tape onto it and then stick it to the base. The double stick tape squares, I cut them up, to, up into little tiny squares, guys. And what you're going to do is, this part here, okay, you see it? Do you guys remember this part? And I'm going to start peeling off the back, which aren't very easy. Uh, here we go. Oh, no. Yeah. Alright. This is double-sided. And just stick it to the bottom of the tabs. So there, you're just going to stick the tabs on there, guys. And then what we're going to do is peel off the other side of this tape and stick it to the base. And this is where it starts to get really messy. And for young kids who are watching this, you might need an adult to help you with this part. So what you're going to do is you're going to unwrap the plaster rolls, which are these here. And like I said, really messy and chalky and stuff. But yeah, you're going to cut each into three to six inch strips and see the cup that we have here full of water. You're going to carefully dip the plaster, plaster wrap strips into the cup of water, making sure 
that each is fully submerged to the strip without letting go. You can start at the base and apply horizontally and just make your way up if you want, or you can start at the top and make your way bottom. It's honestly, it doesn't really matter. You're pretty much, you just got to make sure the whole structure is covered because what this is going to do is when you're mixing the water with the dry plaster on the plaster rest, by combining the water and plaster, you make the that will turn to create your volcano. Make sure though when you are covering it, you don't cover the eruption hole tube on the very top. So avoid doing that and leaving, make sure you leave that hole exposed guys and not covered with the plaster wrap. It's going to take roughly six to eight hours for the plaster to completely dry for us to paint. Now we gotta wait four to six hours for that to dry and then we can finally paint. Have a great night. We'll see you again tomorrow. Grant three wishes.